Okay, we're back inside of Helldivers 2, and things seem to be spicing up in leak territory as we have got a load more Illuminate leaks coming for your faces, as well as the new Battle Pass. We've got the armor to be shown, and a Terminid that you may have seen once before, although not too sure what to do with it now. That being said, we're going to dive on into it today. If you haven't already, smash the beautiful blue thumbs up and subscribe with post notifications turned on. It'd be greatly appreciated. On top of that, check out our sponsor, Instant Gaming. Now, these guys are a platform for all of your favorite games for Steam, Origin, Battle.net, Uplay, and indie games on the PlayStation, Xbox, and Nintendo Switch with up to a 70% off. They're all digital games and instant delivery is 24-7. Completely legal and safe, they bulk buy from the developer and sell to you guys at a cheaper price. It's nice and easy, nice and simple, and you guys can go down to the description right now to support me and support yourself with some cheaper gaming experiences. With that being said, let's dive on into today's video. So starting off, the player base is slowly dwindling, we're being left with those solid Helldivers players. As it stands, the all-time peak for this was just under half a million at 458,000 concurrent players and for the most part we were sat at around 400 from 350 for quite most of the time now at the moment as it stands we are sitting at a 24 hour peak period on steam alone of 213,000. that will mean that we're probably at about half a million totaled with around another 250 odd thousand playing on playstation right now this is a bit of a dwindled factor but this essentially is the game hype dying down what this essentially means is that when a game blows up it obviously has its peak of ridiculous amounts of players and then as it slowly starts to die down another game's release you get left with that solid viewer base audience right now there is about half a million of you guys that are solid in there so massive shout out to you it is absolutely incredible to see and this game is still doing extremely bloody well hopefully we can get some things fixed and we can get some of these bugs knocked out of the park and no i'm not talking about the terminids but Let's dive on in to what's going on with the major order today just to keep you guys updated. Very, very simple one. We are still on Vandalon 4 and we are at currently a 65% liberation rates with only 42,000 of you guys in there at the moment this is obviously going to take some factor into the game and obviously with the lower player base i'd like to think that joel might be a little bit easier on us because there is less of us now smashing out of the park to knock out these major orders it may not be quite the same as it was just a few weeks ago but with two days and six hours remaining on the clock for this major order it's looking like we should be absolutely fine taking truce over the next 24 hours hours or so should be quite good by the end of today we should have vandalon 4 secured and then we've still got tomorrow to take truce for the run-in so make sure that you guys jump in but one thing that you do need to know when you are playing inside of the automaton sector especially if you're playing with randoms is this post right here because this this is me this is me in a nutshell. It states, if you have a lone wolf stealthing around the map, let them cook. Just got kicked from a mission midway through because I was soloing on the other side of the map from everyone else. I took out three outposts and a side objective by myself. Stealth is so insanely good versus the bots. Let me be an army of one for you guys. And this is uh, completely true. And this is exactly how we play. The way that I play with Brown Yoda is essentially I like to go solo stealth and I try and go for the OBJs. He takes out all of the red sector points and all of the little areas soloed on the side point. It's just really, really simple to run it. It means that me and Brown Yoda can run as a two-man or if you guys jump in with us because we keep everything public majority of the time or if we have an SOS beacon sent out, it means that they can run as a squad and leave me to do a lot of the main objectives as far as being able to sneak around the map and play in that style format. I find it really enjoyable and especially against the bots, automatons, it's so damn simple to become a sneaky mother trucker. I just really think it's just worth doing. So if you do have a lone wolf stealther in your lobby, 
Don't kick them out. Let them cook. See what it is that they can bring to the table. Now, unfortunately, at this stage of the video, we are straight into leak territory. It is heavy on leaks this morning as we've got loads of animations and stuff to show you guys. So if you don't want to get involved with it, this is the point of the video where you will have to leave. But before you do leave, we're giving away a copy of Helldivers 2. And if you've already got the game, don't worry, we're giving you the money equivalent in super credits. So if you guys want to get involved with that, get down to the description right now. Now, we want a blue heart spammed in those comment sections. So get the blue heart for the illuminate lighting in that comment section. It's going to be a wild time, so make sure that you get involved. It's really simple. We'll announce it this weekend on the community page and in the Discord of over 8,500 people right now. It's wild. You guys are mental. But yep, yeah, make sure you get down there and make sure you get involved. That being said though, let's dive on into some of the leaks from today. So we've got some Illuminate animations diving into this game. This is crazy and they have done such a great job being able to get these animations into fruition for us because it means that we know what we're going to experience when we're fighting the Illuminate going forwards. At the beginning, we have the Illuminate tripod animations and this looks petrifying to say the least because this thing does not look very slow at all. It looks like it could actually be really quick and I would like to suggest that the likelihood is as its weak points are going to be on the frontal membrane where the main light is. You maybe be able to take out one of the legs if that's how that works, but as an overall, this thing is going to move pretty fast when it actually realizes where you are. Seems like a slow point on a general maneuver, and then the moment it knows where you are, this thing's legs move really bloody quickly, so we need to be careful on this one. Next up, though, we have got the Illuminate Goal animations, and this thing looks like a little bugger. He's obviously mainly clawed, so he is going to be up front and in your face 20 Four, seven. If you guys thought hunters were bad, you have not seen the ghoul just yet. This guy is going to be a pain in your rectum, but make sure that you just hammer in for those head spots because I think that that's mainly going to be where the weak points are on these guys. That big blue light is just looking like a target, let's be real. Now we also have the illusionist animations for the Illuminate and this guy seems quite slow but he has got a lot of hand maneuverment gestures so it would imply to me that he has some level of like animation or like some sort of magic that he sends off. We're going to find that there's going to be a lot of projectiles coming from this guy so he is going to be one that you want to take out relatively quickly because i feel like personally this guy is going to make the automatons rocket launcher freaking mech buggers look so damn mediocre this guy is going to be a complete pain in the rear end and moving on to a piece that you guys will want to see. And for me, this is exciting as hell because I love customization. And my, oh bloody my, this set of armor looks absolutely incredible. But we have new Warbond armors that we've obviously seen one of them and we need to see the other two. So what can they possibly look like? Well, we know what this one looks like right here. The big tanky mother trucker. This thing looks incredible and it's freaking huge and it's a proper bruiser of a set of armor. Although at the moment it does feel like the armor is borderline irrelevant. It doesn't feel like it's going to really have that much of an impact. Especially when we're going against the automatons with those big auto cannon bloody turrets that sit on the edge of the foundations. They are ridiculous and they can literally shoot you from across the map. It's mental how they operate. And this armor doesn't really lead for you guys to have that security. So on a level... I'm not really seeing the perks of heavy armor right now, so that's just me. But this thing right here looks absolutely awesome. I absolutely love a bloody bright ass yellow Helldiver. You guys can see it right here. It looks so damn cool, and I'm so impressed with it. And I think for me, this is probably going to be the go-to when this Warbond does come out. I think this will end up being the one that I end up rocking. That's just the honest truth. I just think it looks so freaking awesome. So you'll spot me from across the map, don't you worry. And some more animations have come up with regards to the Terminid Lava animations. This little dude is a little freak. He is a rockety rolly, tiny ass little bugger. But there is an also a screenshot for the Terminid Lava container backpack, which would mean for me that these guys may not be an enemy, but they may well be an objective on the map. This may be updating so that you guys have to take the lava container backpack and capture one of the lava terminids 
this it would make sense because obviously during the training activities at the beginning of the game you obviously have terminids that are spawning inside with the little holes that they have pre-junctioned in so we must have access to terminids somehow so maybe just maybe we're looking for more hell divers and we have to go and capture these terminid larvas to help us with our training activities it looks pretty cool and i'm excited for so much that's coming over the next couple of weeks these guys that need to up their game now and they need to get these things fixed as well as new content on a push through as they're looking for new staff every single day this is going to be an interesting next couple of weeks so let's get busy this weekend and get this one done if you haven't already smash the beautiful blue thumbs up subscribe post notifications turned on thanks again for watching guys as we push so close to 100,000 subscribers appreciate you all and as always i'll see you in the clouds <laughs>